a live streamer filming a contest, portrays pretty much every negative stereotype about IRL streams. I'm trying to find this RF ID scanner. Where? You should jump in the water right now, just start swimming and you'll find it. Would you do that? What? You should what? jump in the water to find it for me. Well, Please. why don't you jump in with me? I'll give you 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I'll jump in after you. What? She's gonna We're jumping together. Well, I take off your clothes, though. You want me to take off my clothes? Yeah, you want to see me naked? Yeah, I sure do. So obviously this person is unwell. Whether it's her mental capacity, being under the influence, or uncontrollable thirst, normal functioning adults don't act like this, especially when a camera is shoved in their face. But sadly, when a live streamer encounters somebody like that in the wild, their first instinct is, I'm gonna make content off of their confusion. You still want a skinny dip? Yeah. With you, with you. If you go first, we'll do rock, paper, scissors. If you go first, just can you look for the scanner? Jump in and, and not gonna get in trouble. <laughs> right? No. No. Alright. You should hot. just jump in right now. But I'm gonna jump in with my shoes on. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Oh! Wait, what? Did you see her ass? What? Oh, I. Notice how her first reaction to this random woman jumping into the water isn't, can she swim or do I need to save her? No, it's, did I violate the streaming platform's TOS? Which in turn makes her the platform's biggest POS, because she thinks it's funny. You said you wanted to swim. You told me to jump in. I didn't tell you to jump in. Yeah, you should hi. just jump in right now. Well, I'm gonna... just, uh, Thank you guys. We're gonna have you guys do that. Wait, who is that? Did you see her ass when she jumped in? <laughs> did you see her ass? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You f***ed up, I really don't care. Oh, shit. Run, she's gonna- wait, should we leave? Are they gonna call the cops? And it was subtle, but I honestly think she just exposed herself for being a sociopath. Because look at her face when she believes she's just making funny content, compared to the face she makes when she hears she might go to jail over this. Absolutely nothing has changed about the incident that she just caused, except for the idea that she herself may be impacted by it. Which actually gives us some insight on the mentality needed to create viral IRL livestream content when you don't have any real skills or talent to showcase, other than being a public nuisance with a face just attractive enough to clickbait simps. Of course this happens like what, 30 minutes in my stream? Like, I spent time to convincing someone to jump. See, now she's just floating in the water. She said she's stuck. Oh, this is bad. Oh, not, not really. Not really. <laughs> she said she's drowning. She said she's drowning. I think you literally just hurt the No, I didn't. I swear. I no, I didn't. Let's go. There she's drowning in the lake. <laughs> We just saw somebody get giddy at the idea that not only did her internet prank potentially cause somebody to drown, but she caught it on camera for her hundreds of live viewers. Not concerned that her content might be used as her own star witness in a murder trial, but that it was just interesting enough to go viral. Because shortly after, they watched a fire truck responding to the woman in the water. Nah, this is bad. Natalie. Wait, this is really bad. So I've been covering nuisance streams for long enough that I 100% believe there needs to be streamer enhancements to crimes. Just like gang enhancements make prison sentences longer or school zones make speeding tickets higher, I think any harm done in the process of making content online is automatically fined $3,000 or three times the amount they make in a month, whichever is higher. That way, if some nobody pranks you, they're discouraged from nuisance streaming forever. Or if some popular six-figure streamer pranks pranks you, they're actually going to feel the effects of the fine. And I say that half jokingly, but I actually think it's a good idea. Because although running away giggling after coaxing some lady into the lake to possibly drown sounds pretty bad, this streamer has a history of bad behavior, as she's the girl that went into the gym approaching men with nothing but paint over her private parts. Which, if you switch the genders, this is something that would definitely get you thrown in jail. She also proudly reposted herself dragging a shark out of the ocean, which I really wish would get you sent to jail. And then getting kicked by what she claimed was a WWE champion, but apparently turned out to just be a S offender. Now I'm kind of confused by this person, as it doesn't seem like she gets many live stream views at all, but her Instagram following is huge. And I'd normally try to figure out where her relevance is coming from, but honestly at this point, I just stop caring. The main reason I'm covering this in the first place is to one, call out how bad nuisance streams are becoming, but two, expose how showing off your body on the internet is no longer enough to gain clicks from sims.
attempts, they now have to border on breaking the law in a desperate attempt for relevance, as this TikToker yells bomb in a crowded train station. This girl shatters the windshield of a Lamborghini to promote her dancing. Which all goes back to my original video on Jack, exposing how all his viral fights are actually promotions for girls' adults-only spicy content. So like it or not, whenever you're in public, you might be chosen to be a part of somebody's advertisement for adult content, and there's currently no real rules in place to stop them. So hopefully when they finally address this madness, they'll play my video in court and say, that Asian version of Christopher Walken has a point, we need to outlaw this. But if you appreciate my concise, I'd order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. Then go check out the video on the live streamer that got caught in the streets being called a snitch and still has been MIA for over 18 days now.